Hello guys, I'm gonna give you an overview of what PHP does. PHP can be very time saving if you have a very big website because you have to update every page there is in order to in order for the changes to appear. Well this is not the case with PHP include. All you need to do is add a chunk of code and all the files are automatically updated. I'm gonna show you how this is done. Right over here you see a simple piece of HTML code. You can suppose this is my navigation bar. I'm gonna cut this and paste this into a file with no HTML tags. And I'm gonna add a chunk of code which is called PHP include. I'm gonna separate this from my body so I know this is where my PHP code stands. I'm going to change this to navigation now because I'm this is where my navigation is supposed to go in and I'm going to save this as main I'm going to save this as nav because it, this is the file it's supposed to retrieve with this name Firstly, I'm going to show you how it looks on a browser without it being uploaded. As you see that the navigation panel was supposed to appear above this header. Now I have to upload this on my FTP server in order, in order for it to appear. You may want to know that you need a PHP compatible site which allows PHP scripts to run. I'm going to upload this now. And I'm going to choose main and nav. See, my navigation panel appears here now. If you want to add another link, all I have to do is edit my navigation file. So I'm going to show you how it's done too. Here's the file. Open this with Notepad. Add in the separator. And copy this. Save this now, and I'm going to update the previous header. Sorry, navigation. I'm going to refresh this now. See, my Google link appears now. I think you must have gotten the point how PHP works, and you could try applying them on your own websites now. If you have any problems, you can you're free to comment. Uh, I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thank you for watching.